Now it comes to the aspects of uh, warfare. Many a times what will happen is that you may not get line of sight for a wireless. So that is why you have to have line of sight through satellite. So as a result today, for very important missions, uh, they will always have a radio set, which is both uh, like a wireless as also getting connected with a through a satellite so that you are in communication. Of course, satellite has issues of uh, the latency because uh, there's time delay of going all the yes. way up and down of you know about 200 or 300 milliseconds, which is there. And uh, it's not, voice may not be a major problem, but today, like I said, it's a digital battlefield. So getting the appropriate bandwidth to the appropriate, uh, in appropriate uh, quantity, as well as to appropriate uh, numbers of people having that, that becomes a major challenge. So stratification of communications is important, right? While you are in a, relatively developed, communicationally developed area, you may have bandwidths of, say, you know, one gig like you, uh, Airtel and all are providing. But as you go ahead, you've got to have uh, ration your bandwidth, mm -hmm. the communication bandwidth, right? Bandwidth something like how much data can be passed, right? So that is what is important. Then that bandwidth is shared. So that becomes a challenge. So your application stratification becomes a challenge. So if I am developing an application, it should be able to survive at the lowest bandwidth that is going to uh, come up. And so that means there should be a gradual uh, degradation of services while it is available, right? That is how it is there. Uh, so this becomes a, a major challenge. Of course, the weather challenges all, all are there. And uh, this is one as far as this is concerned. But more important is the aspirations of the user. Today, look, the user is, all of us are used to having a mobile in, uh, you know, in metros and uh, delis in there. And you can yes. ask for us. And that mobile, you know, one doesn't realize, like today I'm sitting at home. I got a uh, Airtel a broadband connection uh, with in my home, which is uh, going up to one, one uh, gigabyte on, which is there of Airtel scheme, which is there, right? Uh, but this is shared. So that's quite adequate. So even if my... Uh, Mobile is getting 300 Mbps. It's okay. Uh, for my uh, Wi-Fi, small Wi-Fi, I've also put a, a small uh, Airtel gives you a, a UPS, which is just size of a, say, pencil box. So it can sustain, even if the power goes goes off, it can sustain itself for about half an hour. So even if lights fail, my Wi-Fi doesn't go down. You know, So that is why power plays a very important role. So all that becomes important. So when I'm used to this, they must understand, you know, that this kind of luxury will not be available in the that you feel. Yes. So what has happened is, while a man, the men in uniform are deployed in their own lifetime, other than exercise and all, almost what 90% of the time they're deployed in areas where you've got fantastic communications, uh, closer to headquarters, unit headquarters or whatever there. So, the challenges of surviving in poor communication uh, regions is something which uh, the change of mind uh, set has to come. So it is you have to have uh, the rationing of bandwidth, uh, you know, very gradual degradation of service based on the bandwidth and survivability of the application on low bandwidth. So that is something which is a challenge you will find. So your bosses and you know the another challenge is. Uh, one is the aspiration, the other is the mission accomplish, uh, accomplishment, right? Your commanders are not so technically savvy. I'm not, not, not so savvy. They're not technical people who would know the nuances of communication. So they leave communication entirely on the signals experts. So when something is not, you know, he's got, his focus area is an exercise, a battle. If he's overloaded or loaded with certain nuances which he doesn't understand as much because he's not been, he doesn't have the experience of a pure communicator, right? So that is where there's a level of um, irritation which comes up in here so that, look, I'm not able to, I, I, I'm ready, but I can't, yeah, I'm uh, forced to take a, a tactical pause uh, for my logistics to fetch up. Now, logistics, he is ready to take logistics for have a tactical pause for his maintenance, for his uh, fuel, for his ammunition, replenishment, everything. 
but he's not ready to be out of communications, right? So that there's never going to be a tactical pause for getting communication. And that is why we do leapfrogging. And in fact, many of the places which we are there, we are always um, ahead of the main uh, there. So we're always part of the recce party, which goes and sets up the communications. Whenever there's a recce going on, uh, well, you, uh, there, your communication entity also gets grouped with that and you deploy. So that is a challenge you'll have to have. And that is where you have to have a very thorough knowledge of the terrain and how it is going to be there. There are tools which are available. Fortunately, now they've come up that you can do that. And more important is, it's important that, where, like it is important where you cite your LMG, it is very important where you cite your communication nodes. There's no point in setting a communication node which may not be used uh, in any of the options uh, which is uh, there available with the commanders.